What's up everybody? Just doing a, another update with the new aquascaping in here. Got a Universal Rock 62A here, uh, which is in the middle. Uh, it's pretty big. It's a pretty big rock compared to the uh, smaller ones, which is uh, this one that I've had in here for basically since I launched the tank. And then this uh, this other one, I forget this exact model numbers on these other ones, but they're smaller or medium sized rocks. Uh, they pretty much match perfectly with the uh, Texas wall background. Little bit of a different rock feature, but generally the same. Um, it's hollow inside. Uh, big advantage, in my opinion, as opposed to just putting a big old boulder in here, would be that it doesn't really displace any water. So... Um, you know, you're not really giving up anything for capacity of the tank or, you know, messing with the bio load. It, this thing only weighs about, I don't know, three three pounds or something like that. It's crazy. So you're also not loading up a bunch of extra weight in your tank as well. Um, really, really neat. If you haven't seen their products, check them out. This is the 62A. Uh, I bought this from Amazon.com warehouse deals. They're, they have basically stocking items that Universal Rock sells directly to their website which is uh, which is great but the warehouse deals is great if you don't know about it is that they sell new and open box uh, items or return items or they might have a small little tiny imperfection on them uh, they rate them they're sold through Amazon they're guaranteed through Amazon prime shipping everything you would get that you know with Amazon and the advantage is that they sell them for a really big discount. So this is, let's say, like a, I don't know, $50, $60 rock uh, directly through Universal Rocks. I think I got this for like $38 or $37 uh, shipped from Amazon. So that's a pretty good deal. I get up a little bit closer here so you can see the detail. And uh, it's really impressive. It's flat on the bottom and it's completely open and hollow inside. And... Uh, really really awesome so and this is a this is a pretty big rock so I've been wanting to try to clear out some of my smaller flat rocks and kind of simplify the tank I did take out all the plants if as you can see except just for the little side plants I have here just to kind of soften the edges so I just left the the side plants in for now they're fake um, in terms of fish coloring up everything like that everybody's been doing great um, next on the horizon for coloring up, probably recoloring up, is this Red Empress here. And um, this little guy is really starting to starting to fire back up. He's getting his, almost all his blue back in. So he's going to look really awesome once he's fully colored up. And Yellow Lab is doing great since I added him in. Leopard Bushfish doing great as always. And then this little guy, some kind of a hybrid, I don't know. When I got him, he was juiced up and he was blue and red. He's definitely getting back some of the blue and some of the red, but he's still pretty small. But he's starting to color. We'll see what happens. And um, still rocking with the toucan filters. And... Just the uh, one JVP 102 circulator up there in the corner. Since I went with the FX filter now by, by Fluval, that's quite a bit of circulation. So everything's been doing okay. Otherwise, I did go to the uh, GCCA, the Greater Chicago Land Secret Association uh, swap over the weekend. I did buy a Super Red Empress, which is downstairs in my quarantine tank. So I will try to introduce him. I just want to make sure he's okay. Um, pretty good size, actually. Three and a half to four inches already. And um, we'll see if he'll get along. It's it's different, different morph than this regular Red Empress. It's like almost all red. It's kind of a weird looking fish. Really, really neat though. So great deal at the, at the cichlid swaps. I'm glad that the season's starting back up. And... Uh, There'll be a whole fall and winter full of that. Any questions, comments, or concerns, or if you want to take another look at another fish, uh, you know, feel free to reach out. And 
and uh, I will try to answer or address your questions as best as I can. And uh, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching.